pretty special day for me. If, uh, like I've said all along with the Bathurst, I've been a massive tragic HRT fan since I was about this big. So to be the first one to drive the car of the future for HRT is uh, very special to me. It um, couldn't get the smile off my face in the outlap, even though I was doing about uh, 20 kilometres an hour betting in things. So it was a uh, yeah, very cool day. So the car that uh, we got here today, the car of the future, every single aspect of it is different from the steering wheel, gear shift, uh, obviously the whole rear end is different with the gearbox in the back. So from what I drove on the weekend in Garth's car, it's um, nothing alike besides it looks the same from the outside. So the way you drive it's a lot different, it's going to take a fair bit for the driver to adapt and I think being a young guy it's going to help me a little bit because you know you just jump in and you learn it all quite quickly because I haven't been in a supercar for the last 10-15 you know, years. So. The way you're driving, it's a fair bit different to the corner, obviously with the rear end doing its thing back there, so it's going to be, it's going to be interesting, it's going to take the engineers a while to get a hit around it. I think it's going to open up a little bit, hopefully uh, the younger guys are going to start coming through because it's not the traditional uh, lay in the brake, square the corner off and squirt it out, so it's going to encourage probably a little bit more passing because you can attack the corner more, so it'll be a good, good thing, I look forward to the, the afternoon with a bit more laps. Just from today so far, we haven't had any issues uh, rolling straight out of the truck, it's run completely fine, so we've already got a, quite a head start on the Nissan and Merck team, so that's a plus, but I don't think you can never go past the, the mighty Holden in Australia, we've got a pretty good understanding of what it wants in every condition at every track, so I think we'll definitely hit the ground running come uh, Clipsal next year.